everybody, it's Devin. Welcome back to my kitchen. Obviously my favorite place to be these past couple weeks. Um, I am just prepping, well, making dinner for tonight. I'm really excited because I'm trying out a new recipe. I am making a spaghetti squash carbonara. So I love carbonara pasta. It's super simple. It's basically made with egg yolks, Parmesan, heavy cream, pancetta. It's so, so good. But trying to be a little healthier tonight, so we're doing spaghetti squash instead of pasta. I love spaghetti squash. It's very easy to cook, and it's a great pasta substitute. Here's my spaghetti squashes. Not to be confused with butternut squash. This one's yellow and round. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cooking my squashes because they take a while. You know what? I'm gonna actually pop them in the microwave for about five minutes because they're a little hard. And I'm gonna soften them up that way so it's easier for me to cut it and get all the seeds out. In the meantime, I've chopped and prepped some sweet potatoes. It's just what I'm gonna do on the side. I have some leftover hollandaise sauce that I had made last night for, we had like um, some seafood. And then I made, I had eggs this morning, so I put it over that. And then tonight I'm gonna just have like hash brown-esque sweet potatoes with like hollandaise on the side. I think it'll just be a nice little pairing to the spaghetti squash, just so we have some sort of starch. So I've chopped it, tossed it in olive oil, salt, pepper, putting in a 400 degree oven for around, well, basically until they're crispy. I'm gonna see probably around 20, 30 minutes, but I want them to be cooked and then I'm gonna put them in the broiler so they crisp up. So I hope you guys are all doing well. We're going a little stir crazy over here, but we're okay. We're healthy. So that's all that matters. So for the sauce, it's basically, you need to have four eggs, so just the egg yolk. You're gonna need heavy cream. You're gonna need, I don't have pancetta, so I'm doing bacon. And then you need pecorino romano, which I don't have. So this is Parmigiano Reggiano. So sometimes you gotta just make do with what you got. And sorry, freshly cracked pepper would be great. Uh, green onions, chives, really anything you want. I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna assess the situation before I commit to topping it with something. My sister and husband have told me that they do not feel like being quiet for my vlog this evening. They're tired of me vlogging. So you might hear <laughs> you might hear some friendly distractions in the background. Um, just ignore them. Focus on me. Let's see how my squash is doing. Let's just feel one out. Is and the silence. All right. Let's try to see if we can cut this one. Ah, yes. That's much easier. You could not microwave it, but I find it easier to microwave it. Muscles. Oh, I made it. So the insides will be like this. You're gonna want to scoop that out. I think all squashes have seeds inside, like a pumpkin, butternut, acorn, pumpkin. Now that I've microwaved it, it's super easy to scoop this gum out. So I bought the insides out. So now I'm gonna just drizzle a little bit of olive. <laughs> you just need to. <laughs> then you drizzle. <laughs> Show yourself. Okay, so you just drizzle it with olive oil and do a little salt and pepper. It's actually gonna be the best vlog. He's in your squash. Alex actually did that, did that in a vlog that I'm posting soon. Oh, hi guys, I'm just gonna go back downstairs. My fish vlog. Uh, It'll be up by this one. Oh, Alex just totally up in my direction. <laughs> okay, now on to the second squash. Hey, it's hot! Hey, it's buddy. hot, hot, hot. Oh, okay. Squash are gonna go the side that you cut face down. That's how it kind of steams up. Ah, mother trucker. Those are toasty. <laughs> Scoop the insides out. I almost burned my hand off, but it's gonna be okay. And drizzle. Salt and pepper. <laughs> Face side down. And in the oven, 400 for 30-ish minutes. 
So my squash has been cooking for like 10 to 15 minutes and I'm just gonna start to prep for the rest of the meal. I'm gonna start chopping up my bacon into little bits. I really wish that I had pancetta, but sometimes you gotta just make do with what you have, especially in times of quarantine. Chopping up this bacon. Get that going on the, I'm gonna do it in a wrought iron skillet. And just start rendering that out and cooking it. No oil in the pan because the bacon has plenty of oil. Okay, so now if you're cooking with pasta, you're gonna wanna kinda deglaze the pan with half a cup of pasta water, that starchy pasta water. And since we're not cooking with pasta, I'm gonna just deglaze it with a little bit of chicken broth. Um, you don't want to cook this, if you're using bacon and not pancetta, you don't want to cook the bacon like crispy brown, like how you eat a strip of bacon. You want it to be like still a little pink. This is my bacon. You can see it's still pink. I kind of turn the heat off because it gets so hot in the skillet. But this is kind of basically where I want it. I don't want to get it much darker or crispier than that because I'm trying to mimic pancetta. They're definitely not done yet, but you want to kind of keep rotating them. If they look a little dry, add a little bit more olive oil. Now you don't want to drown them in olive oil, but you don't want them to also be dry. So just give them a little stir and pop them back in the oven. Okay, so I've just turned the heat back on and I'm pouring in about a half a cup that chicken broth and we're gonna cook that down until basically all of the liquid is evaporated. Check on my squash just to make sure it's not overcooked. Okay my squash is actually done when you go at it with a fork it should kind of shred up all the way up to the edge. So I just let it sit um, over like still upside down so that it continues to stay warm until I'm ready. Okay, now we can start prepping for the sauce. We're gonna do our four egg yolks. If you have an egg yolk separator, great. If not, you can just use the shell that I did. Egg yolks are generally easier to separate when they're refrigerated. Two, three, and four. Now I'm gonna just break down these egg yolks and whisk them a little bit. Gonna get my cream. I need about like 175 milliliters. This is 473, so a little less than like basically a third of this. We're gonna need three fourths cup. Ideally, Pecorino Romano, if you don't have. I'm using Parmigiano Reggiano. If you can freshly grate it, it's even better. Three fourth cup, so you have a lot of cheese. I'm gonna do more than that. I'm gonna just stir that up. I'm gonna now add in my black pepper, freshly cracked, ideally. Kind of to taste, but I like pepper. Now, not all recipes call for salt, but because the pecorino mana is very salty, but I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt. Give that a stir. Okay. That is basically all stirred up, as you can see. This leftover hollandaise that I made. Warm it up in the microwave. While I do that, I'm going to shred my spaghetti squash. Okay. Squash is here. I'm going to be hot. Carefully flip them over. They're steamy, but this is basically what it should look like. That is spaghetti squash. I'm gonna just keep doing this until I've got them all clean. I'm gonna need to speed it up. 
You should basically grate everything down to the cheese, or cheese, down to the peel. Now I'm gonna put this directly into the pan. So these potatoes basically look done. I'm gonna put them back in and I'm gonna turn the broiler on high. I'm gonna get my squash over here, straight into the pan. Much easier if it's cold. See how there's basically nothing left in there? Okay, as you can see, those squashes produced a lot of spaghetti. I'm gonna just mix in all the pancetta and all of this, or sorry, bacon and all the juices that I cooked in. Now you're gonna turn off the heat completely, pour in the mixture. And as you pour it in, just mix it, coat it all in that delicious sauce. Wanna get it all absorbed. Don't want it to fall to the bottom. You wanna get all the pasta or squash coated. Oh my gosh, looks and smells insane. Now it doesn't look too thick at all. I was gonna say if it's too thick, you could add more well, pasta water or if you don't have pasta, chicken stock. This baby is ready to be scooped back in the spaghetti squash. Oh, don't no forget about your potatoes. They look ready. So I've plated my potatoes and I've just topped it with some extra cheese and pepper. And voila!